So, here's what I want you to do. If you've got your, um, your diagram there, if you've got enough space to draw on it, we're actually going to put some numbers on this, okay? Because we're going to go out there, and like we don't have a satellite which tells us all the information. We're out there on foot, right? So how is it that we actually construct this? Uh, make a little subheading, which is Traverse Survey. This is the name of what we're actually going to go outside and do. Traverse Survey, it's also called, same thing, different name, an Offset Survey. We want to be able to get out there on foot and make a diagram like this. Okay? And that's what all these trundle wheels are about. Okay? So, for example, I'm actually just going to copy this diagram again because I need a little bit bigger. <coughs> I want you to imagine, okay, here you are standing on this corner of the field. Okay, so you need to know where a corner is and you want to put your line of sight up into the other corner. So we already have this line drawn in. So that's fine. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start to walk up. Okay. In other words, you're going to start to traverse the field. That's what it means. Go all the way across. But as you do that, like I want these measurements, right? So as you walk, you'll get to a certain point where you'll be like, aha, I can see this corner over here and it is at right angles to this path that I'm tracing out. Okay? So maybe you walk to say 10 meters and you saw, oh look, I can see the corner now. It's right on my, on my right hand side. Okay? So I'm going to get someone else to walk along, again with the trundle wheel, and I'm going to measure it out. Question? How did you know that so easily by eye? Okay, now this is difficult. When you're uh, people who are surveyors, right, they've got these big fancy things called, if you want to write this down so you can search for it, they're called, <laughs> they're called theodolites. So they basically look like big yellow glorified tripods and there's this oh, fancy yeah. thing. You might even be, you might be driving along and you'll see some guys like peering into it and there are two at opposite ends trying to work out where are we and getting the angles exactly right. So it's a bit difficult to do by eye, honestly, but we'll be able to get close enough. And if you remember back on that first lesson, we talked about error in measurement, right? And we know there'll be some errors here. What was one of the ways of overcoming error in measurement? Do you recall? Redoing it? Yeah, do it lots and lots of times. Or maybe get lots of different people to measure the same thing, and then hopefully if we take the average, we'll be pretty close. Okay? So we'll do our best. So just on this, I mean, I'm just going to do that again by eye. Let's suppose you walk off in that direction, and you measure out 20 meters from where you started out to the corner. Okay? Then you, the, from the starting point, you're going to keep on traversing, and then at some point, you look to your left and like, look, there's the other corner. So again, you take a measurement over there. I'm just guessing here. Suppose that's 15. You also need to know how far you walked all the way across. Because remember, you need to know the length of this entire diagonal. I'm just going to put another nice round number on that. And it's totally to scale. And then off you go. You're going to finish walking and um, get a final measurement over here. Okay. Now, once you've got all of those measurements, the important thing is we're going to get out there and do the measurements. We'll come back here and we'll work out, okay, how are we going to crunch these numbers to get perimeter and get area, okay? So, we're going to get out there. I'm going to put you probably in groups of three. Is everyone here today? Because that would be eight groups. Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to numb you off from one to eight. I, yeah, I contemplated and I was like, mm, no, no. Um, I want to get out there much quicker as well. So I'm going to number you one to eight. Within your group, you're going to need to get a trundle wheel. Um, I don't think we'll have enough for two for each group, but we'll have more than enough for one for each group. In your group, you're going to need to have at least a couple of people who bring something to ride on so that we go out there. And um, remember I told you we can choose which corners to go from. So in our eight groups, we should be able to get a couple of different corners and I'd like us to see what kinds of different measurements we get. Okay? So get ready. I'm going to number you and um, once you see people who've got the same number, gather and then we're going to head out. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh-oh. Who am I missing? Okay. Yes. Oh, of course, just just went to sick bay. Yeah, you're fine. That's okay. Uh, no, no, it's, I know who it is. Um, 
Okay, okay. Be group uh, seven, no, group eight rather. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a hand, but to be honest, you could do this as a pair, so you'll be fine. Okay, so in your groups, would you please get up? Um, Olivia, would you like bring the um, trunk wheels up to the front? They're a bit heavy. Sandy, maybe uh, bring that to the front. In your group, you're going to need someone at least with a trundle meal. You can have two if there's enough by the end. You'll need some people with some stuff to record. Now, just one last thing before we go. Okay. This diagram, quite hard to do when you're... Uh, thank you, just leave it there. That's perfect. Tough. Quite hard to do when you're out there and you don't even know any of these lengths. Okay. So we have a very particular way of writing each of these numbers which is super concise but it captures all the detail there and then we can draw our diagram afterwards. So underneath where you've done this, I'm just going to go on to this next board. I'd like you to draw for me two vertical lines which have uh, one, two, three, four, five rows on them. Okay? So something like this and on your page you're going to have like here are your lines on your page. Okay. So. We just want a nice, succinct way of capturing all this information. So we want to mimic what happens as we walk across the field and you're counting these trundle wheel clicks and trying to get a measurement. Okay. So what you do is you start by saying, okay, I begin on one spot here and I'm going to say that's zero, that's my beginning. Okay, you are right. Yeah, can I just go to the toilet? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You have two lines and we're going to put some numbers in the middle. And you remember I said, oh, okay, you walked 10 meters. You walked 10 meters and then you thought I'd better measure. So you write a 10 up on this next row. We're, we're heading up here, we're going across, the sur we're surveying the field. And then you said, okay, well, I'll measure to the right. And you, you took 20. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. So then after that, you kept on walking. Now remember, this person who's going all the way up, their wheel is clicking and clicking and clicking and they're counting. So when you get to this next spot, right, which is 40, what do you do there? I actually have way too many rows. Which I'm like what do you do at that point? You measure in the other direction, right, and you measure 15. You see that? So I'm measuring each of these numbers. I'm like, where do I do something important on my walk across the field? Okay, so where I start, that's important. Where I took a measurement to this direction, that's important, and I indicate it that way. Where I took a measurement to that direction, etc. And it looks like I actually finish. What's the final number if I'm counting along? 60. I've gone 40 plus 20, that's 60. Sorry, I made it too tall. Okay, so you can see here, that's about as minimal as you can get. If you wanted, if you wanted to be more accurate, or if you had a funnier shaped field, there's no reason why you couldn't take more measurements. But that's going to be a little bit complicated out there, so I will show you that back when we come to this classroom. And you can see, we can make these things longer and add more numbers on. Okay? So, let me review one more time. We're going to hit out there in your groups of three, or two, or one, or one. Was she eight? Was she group eight? Yeah, okay. Who's the other eight? I'll give you a hand, Chris. Okay? Or you, maybe you want to jump on with another group. We'll make a group of four. Okay? I know, but she... Wow. We'll, hopefully we'll collect on the outside. You're going to need some people to measure all the way across. And I would highly advise you... This is why you're in a group. Highly advise against that same person also doing the other measurements because then they're going to lose their spot, not know what direction they're going in. It gets a bit confusing. Okay?